Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to install InTouch Access Anywhere on top of Windows Server 2008 R2 Standard Edition Service Pack 1. Let's begin by first verifying that we have uh, the appropriate operating system that meets the uh, minimum requirements per the README. Um, also that we have the appropriate hardware resources that, uh, that meet the minimum uh, requirements, uh, again, per the README file. Next, let's verify that we have users that will be uh, designated to uh, access the terminal server and they have the appropriate privileges. Here you see I have TSUser01 and TSUser02. We'll also see that they are members of the remote desktop users groups. Next, let's add the remote desktop services role. By within server manager, select roles, add roles. It'll bring up the add roles wizard. Click on next we will select the remote desktop services and then click on next click on next again for this brief tutorial we will be selecting remote desktop session host in your environment in your production environment you will also be select uh, selecting remote desktop licensing uh, in accordance with your uh, Microsoft terminal server licensing We'll click on next, click on next again. For this tutorial we'll be selecting do not require network level authentication. Again in, in a production environment please select the appropriate level of authentication. Click on next. For this tutorial we're just going to select configure later. This will give us uh, licensing for at least 120 days. Uh, in the production environment, please select the per device or per user um, option based on your requirements. Click on next. You'll see that these two users are a part, or these uh, two users in this one group is a part of the remote desktop users group. Click on next. configure your client ex your client experience in this case we'll just simply click on next and now we're ready to begin the actual installation process click on install and now it's installing remote desktop services uh, depending on your hardware it may take a little while or it may take a long while okay we've successfully completed the installation we click close this will prompt us to restart the server. We click on yes. And that begins the reboot process. Once the reboot has successfully completed, we'll be back in our desktop. The installation process will continue briefly. Okay, we get the uh, installation message saying that uh, the installation succeeded successfully. There may be some warnings, but uh, right now that's okay. It says installation succeeded. Click close. We can also close server manager. Now we can begin the process of, of actually installing InTouch Access Anywhere. We'll navigate to our DVD drive. We'll open up that DVD drive and select setup and uh, run as administrator. Now this assumes that InTouch has uh, already been installed on the server and so we're just simply going to select modify and click on next. We'll select the InTouch Access Anywhere server and click on next. Verify that these features are going to be installed. 
click on modify and accept the end user license agreement and, and say agree install any prerequisites that appear uh, in the prerequisite installation screen in this case there's none we'll just select next and that begins the actual installation process of InTouch Access Anywhere. Once the installation has completed successfully, we'll just click Finish on the uh, dialog box. And now we can also close Windows Explorer. And next we just verify that the installation uh, was success successful by going to Start All Programs, Wonderware, Locate the new InTouch Access Anywhere uh, server folder and we can click on uh, InTouch Access Anywhere server configuration and look at the general tab and we can see that our server is running under communications we can also verify that it's running on port 8080 Once we verify that our InTouch Access Anywhere server has been uh, successfully installed and configured, let's take a look and, at our, and make sure we have a, a working InTouch application. Here we see uh, we have the demo running, uh, or we have three demo apps, and I'm going to select one of them and bring it up in Window Viewer. Okay, we're running the, in, uh, the application. Uh, let's verify who we are. Okay, it says that I am running as wwadmin. There's an alternate command that you can use to verify who you are. Uh, it says that this is the server and this is the user that's uh, currently logged on. Now, if you have a um, HTML5 based browser, you can simply select it. In this case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. And I'm going to um, put the local address in the browser. And this is, again, just to test um, out the configuration. Localhost port 8080 that'll bring up the Wonderware InTouch Access Anywhere uh, interface in this case it's just a local server and I'm going to log in as a terminal server user in this case TS user 01 put in the password I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the InTouch application that I want to run in this case is the demo app 800 by 600 and connect. If you've installed everything correctly it will uh, bring up the InTouch uh, window or uh, window viewer and as you can see I'm running the application. I've switched to the conveyor screen. And if you look at my uh, uh, application that's running under WW Admin, um, as you can see, they're, to they're looking at the same app but a totally different screen. So we verify that the InTouch Access Anywhere application uh, has been successfully installed and configured. This concludes this brief tutorial video on how to install InTouch Access Anywhere. Thank you.